We're back, and it's still the morning show. It's time to get all the juicy, trending, yes. and entertainment news with a rise entertainment analyst, Ikena Kingsley. Hi, Ikena. Hi, hey Ikena. Guys. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Good. You guys are looking good. You guys are twinning. Are we twinning? Yes, We're the, not twinning this morning. We not really. The, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. The, oh, the print. The, the print. OK. Yeah, I Close. see what you're saying. The, the weekend is around the corner, you know. So. What's around the corner? The weekend. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. yes. I can't wait Looking to say TGIF. Looking forward to Friday, yes. Yes. Anyway, what's yeah, trending? The, OK, so Superwoman doesn't get any more super than Serena Williams. As a tennis champion, mom and wife is now a designer. Just days after she made an iconic comeback at the French Open rocking a cat suit, that six year old has debuted a clothing line named after her. The line, which debuted on her website, serenawilliams.com, features tough, practical, and comfy pieces, including denim dress, tracksuit, a pair of high waisted pants, sport bra, among others. Mm. Mm. I yeah. will definitely rock this. Definitely, definitely. Why? Because Serena and I kind of have similar shaped bodies, so I know <laughs> she understands my body, okay? I'm done with designers who have no clue how to dress women with my kind of body. So hi, mm. Serena. I will okay, be visiting that. <laughs> I will that. be visiting that website, serenawilliams.com. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, know, you, said, you, said, you said once that you were a fan of Serena when you were little. Yes, yes, I actually yeah. said that I had Serena on my wall like oh, a few okay. years ago. That's a good, that's a good um, person. I had her amongst other women, yes, yes. But well, yes, I really yeah. liked her. But why are you looking like that? You will not be wearing any of these? No. Why? Or why not? No, just because it's just, she's not really, I don't... She's you not know, your you, style. Yeah, no, not even Victoria Beckham, maybe. The shade. <laughs> no, I think it's I think it's more to do with you know when when celebrities do things like this. I know I understand the angle she's coming from. She's yeah. an athlete, so it makes sense with the type of clothes she's actually doing. Mm. Their sportswear, but um, I just don't see her as like any type of fashion inspiration at all. Is no, Beyonce I just fashion? Can't... Is Beyonce a fashion inspiration? <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, but not. you would wear Beyonce's clothes. No, I only bought that Blue Ivy slippers, the Blue Ivy, the Ivy Park slippers. Ivy Park. Yeah, right. I think you have to have some type of, a little bit of selling power or influence mm. yeah. in yeah, the fashion industry. Yeah. Yeah. But, you but know let's her. talk about what, what she list? wore for the, um, for the, for the um, game yesterday, the cat suit. Yep. She looked amazing. Like I she told looked, you, she looked amazing. <laughs> Again, Stephanie's not agreeing with me. No, she looked fine. amazing. She, she, how old is her baby? Her baby's oh, only a couple like, of few months old. Couple yes, and she's back on the court old, yeah. and she's like doing magic. Hey. Yeah. Again, so she's, she's like, she's she does good. definitely look amazing. Yeah, she does. And power to Serena. She's just winning all round. I know. I Even though she that. might not be winning on the court <laughs> yet, but <laughs> she's Give winning. Her time. Give her yeah, time. she's winning. She's, she, her, her life is, you know, yeah. it's a good life to have. It's a good life. She was invited to the royal wedding. Exactly. Yep, with her husband. And yeah, exactly. she, looked, she looked amazing, I must yeah. say. No, she did. She looked amazing. So I hear something is going on with Offset. Mm, yeah, yeah, he's in the news, but hey, not for anything bad this time. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Austin just paid back Blue Samaritan, who he said saved his life following his accident with a new car. The Migos rapper totaled his green dirt challenge in Atlanta earlier this month. Blue Samaritan Jamal was walking to work when he saw Offset climbing out of the wrecked car. Offset says now Jamal will be driving in a new whip instead of walking. Oh, yeah. fantastic. So he gave him a new car? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what happened to the guy his people beat up? <laughs> you no, that see, one we what don't happened know. to the guy his people beat up weeks ago? Did he did he settle out of court? Did he? Well, we've not pay heard him? we've not heard anything from that case, but um, I'm guessing like Offset has his good sides, you know, with this um, you know gift to this guy that saved his I life. I know why shaking her. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the media, you know. You do one good thing and then they bring up something from your past. Hey, sad. Yeah, he beat somebody up and then he had an accident. And I, I, I would say I, I, don't really want to, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get all spiritual, but I would say God karma. placed or put that guy there, you know, walking to work no, when no he had an accident. <laughs> and, you know, the guy saved him, took him to the hospital and all that. So yeah, I would yeah. say, yes, the guy was but a blessing in disguise. If I'm you thinking say. about it. Do you think buying this guy a new car was the mm -hmm. best gift to give him? You know, all the maintenance, who's going to be paying for that? That's just extra cost. I think people mm -hmm. always assume having a new car is like, oh, so what a would big you blessing. Well, <laughs> what would you have suggested? Yeah, a scholarship you. for his kids, a scholarship for him. Do you, does he, even, um, does he, he have, have a business? He doesn't have kids. Okay. He like does he have, have kids? He okay. doesn't have kids. He's a young guy. Okay. And he was walking to work. And I'm, sh and I'm sure, yeah, and I'm sure he would like to drive to work. <laughs> something, something more... Something more and that, that something doesn't more. something that doesn't correlate with what happened. So if somebody had a car crash, you help them in the car crash. You were walking to work. You buy them a new car. 
Everybody's see? happy. What's Guys. with the deep stuff with scholarship? He doesn't even have kids. You Change give lives. Him... Okay, so even if he doesn't have kids, okay, does he have a business? Help him start up something, something that can now provide a car for him. A car is an extra cost, okay? Ask people whose cars are at the mechanic workshop now. Well, I still think it's a good know. gesture. It was a well, good first gesture it was a good him. gesture, yeah. like you said, and he could likely do more for the guy. Yeah. This is just the first we've heard, like, you know, he gave him a new car, and the guy was speaking, and it's a brand new car, not like, you know, I see like the one he used, yeah, like so it's brand new. Has <laughs> so before, thank you. Before, <laughs> okay, like, you know, he would get to, should I say, take it to the mechanic or something, he would use for like a long time. Yeah. So, I mean, come on, this is like still good. I tell you that. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, somebody, somebody it's else. Trending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna agree on this. No, one. there's a rapper that I need to talk about. <laughs> okay, so Drake is firing back at Pusha T. This time, it's not with the song, but an explanation for the blackface photo Pusha used to promote his vicious story of added on diss track. Drake says the image was not used to promote a clothing brand, as rumor had it, but instead it was his way of taking a shot at Hollywood's treatment of black actors. He said it's from 2007 when he was working on a project that was about young black actors struggling to get roles, being stereotyped and typecast. Yeah. Mm. Pusha T, anyway, this whole beef thing, I'm just not understanding it. I think that Pusha it's T healthy. went below the belt, man. The story of Ad Ad Adion, what's Adidon. his Adidon. Adonis. No, I did not know something. That was a He's his track. roommate child. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they, they're black the face. Is. But then he, I, I feel like what Pusha T is doing is stretching this, this feud. He needs, again, he needs the publicity. Yeah, no, he yeah. does. Have sure. we ever spoken about Pusha T on this show? Mm. How mm. has anybody on any show spoken about Pusha <laughs> exactly. T? Exactly. But you know what's interesting? The photographer who actually took the picture of that black face um, shot of Drake, actually said that it was Drake's idea and um, it was, it was, it's Drake's content as well. So mm. it's not something, it's, it, I don't really feel like you can diss someone where, when they own the content, when they've mm. already put the content out, you know? Right. So it's not like he was hiding it and you now brought it out and said, yeah. oh, yeah. look what we found, look, but he was in blackface. Was what year was that blackface thing? Was it 2007? 2007. 2007, because the blackface man. is offensive. I know that it's a big thing with Americans, they find it, very offensive. It's it's. But it was it's, it was art. It was, it was actually art. He he actually explained himself. But what Pusha T was trying to do was actually manipulate the situation yeah. and make true, it seem true. like he was actually taking a shot at yeah. black people. Yeah. Which makes it's, no sense. it's good that Drake came out to claim. So before people yeah. would think maybe he's racist or he's being you know exactly. that kind of person. Racist, and like black. he was trying to. <laughs> Because he's like he's trying yeah. to like you know should I say stop the stereotyping in the industry and all that. So I understand what he was doing at the time. But she's using yeah. for like a diss track, obviously just to get attention and get boots, maybe yes, hate that's on Drake. It, the attention and he's yeah. getting it. But is and anybody by the way, buying his And tracks? by the way, the lady that he said um, Drake has a kid with yeah. is hot. Is like, what? Like she is She's hot. hot. Yeah. Well, somebody else that knows about um, hot ladies is um, Wizkid. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey, yeah, definitely. Okay, so our winning singer Whiskey has revealed that his title of upcoming album is made in Lagos. He said this while speaking with DJ Tim Westwood in the UK. According to the musician, he will not be featuring any artists on the album. The album will have 10 tracks, no features, just straight up Whiskey. Hey, yeah, that Star Boy. is confidence. Yeah, I tell you, <laughs> Starboy all the way. And like, this is like a statement that, you know what, I don't need anybody on my album. I can make it happen. Kiss Daniel you know? actually did that as well with his yeah, um, first album. Yeah, yeah. But with Whiskey now, I think only, I think this is going to be like... So bigger, right? It'll go platinum, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like it'll be huge. Everybody mm -hmm. around the world now is... Oh, one is trying to keep up with what Whiskey is doing, so he doesn't really need anybody right now. He doesn't need to feature anyone. Yeah, and I think this tracks. album is, is like, it's, you know, it, it should happen, because why? Last album was um, sounds from the other side, like where he you know went abroad to you know yeah. explore yeah. the sound and all that, and he brought us sounds. What did you think of that album? It was good. It was great. I must say that I, I must yeah. commend him. It was good. Yeah. And even um, Joe Budden talked about it on his show, like he was commending Whiskey for a good album coming from Nigeria and coming to you know um, the market that you're not so familiar with, and yeah. Yeah. he actually did well. And now this is made in Lagos. I trying to bring it back home. That you know what, guys. I'm not forgetting you guys, I still, mm, you know, I'm yeah. a Nigerian, I'm a Lagosian, so hey, yeah. let's do this. And he being alone on the album, that's, you know, that speaks volume of his talent and what he can do and bring to the table. So yeah. I think this is good, it's great. Yeah. I wish him all the best. Yeah. yeah, well, it's always a fun <laughs> hanging out with you, Ikenna, from the mm -hmm. other side. Thanks for telling us what's <laughs> trending. When we return, yeah. we'll be chatting with a Rise Sports Analyst, Aaron Ekirijola. Don't go away. <laughs>